Have you ever wondered about the stories that abandoned places could tell if they could speak? Imagine the tales that would echo through the corridors of time, whispered by the wind, etched in the dust, and imprinted in the silence. Today, we invite you to journey with us into the heart of history as we delve into the fascinating world of forgotten locales, places that were once vibrant and full of life, now standing still, frozen in time. These are the ghosts of time, abandoned places that have been surrendered to the elements, left to tell their stories to anyone willing to listen. Each one holds a unique narrative, a captivating chronicle of human endeavor, resilience, and sometimes tragedy. From the ancient ruins of civilization's past to the modern vestiges of industrial progress, these sites are like open-air museums. There exhibits the crumbling walls, silent streets, and vacant structures, each one a testament to the ceaseless march of time. They are the remnants of dreams and aspirations, kingdoms that have risen and fallen, cities that have thrived and decayed, and communities that have flourished and faded away. They are the echoes of our shared human experience, a poignant reminder of the impermanence of all things. Yet there's a certain allure that surrounds these places. It's as though they are calling out to us, beckoning us to explore their hidden depths, to unravel the mysteries they hold. They are like time capsules, each one filled with fragments of a bygone era, waiting to be discovered and understood. And so, we heed their call. We venture into these forgotten realms, treading lightly on their hallowed grounds, listening intently to their silent tales. We seek to unravel their secrets, to understand their past, to honor their memory. So let's embark on this intriguing journey through time, uncovering the tales behind these lost wonders. Our first stop takes us back to the 15th century, to the enigmatic ruins of Machu Picchu. Perched high in the Andean mountains of modern-day Peru, the ancient city of Machu Picchu stands as a silent sentinel to a bygone era. Constructed in the 15th century, this mesmerizing city was once the heart of the Inca Empire a civilization rich in culture and steeped in advanced knowledge of agriculture, architecture, and astronomy. The Incas, a people known for their ingenuity and resilience, built this city without the use of wheels, iron tools, or even a written language. Yet, they managed to create a city that stands proudly till today, a testament to their remarkable engineering skills. The city, with its intricately designed terraces and structures, was harmoniously integrated into the natural landscape, demonstrating an extraordinary symbiosis between man and nature. Machu Picchu, however, was not destined to thrive indefinitely. In the late 16th century, it was abandoned, left to the mercy of the elements and the passage of time. The exact reasons for its abandonment remain shrouded in mystery. Some historians believe that the city was deserted due to the onslaught of the Spanish conquistadors, while others speculate that a rampant outbreak of disease may have forced the Incas to flee. For centuries, Machu Picchu lay hidden from the world, its existence known only to the local Quechua Indians. It wasn't until 1911, when American historian Hiram Bingham stumbled upon it during his expedition, that the world became aware of this lost city of the Incas. His discovery sparked a wave of interest and curiosity, leading to extensive research and exploration of the site. Today, Machu Picchu is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, an accolade that emphasizes its universal cultural and historical significance. It is considered one of the greatest architectural achievements of the New World, and its preservation is of paramount importance. The city's sophisticated dry stone walls that fuse huge blocks without the use of mortar, and its intriguing buildings that play on astronomical alignments speak volumes about the Inca's advanced understanding of natural phenomena. Every year, Thousands of tourists trek the steep Inca Trail to marvel at the grandeur of Machu Picchu. But despite the throngs of visitors, the city retains an air of profound mystery and awe. As the mist lifts from the Andean peaks each morning, revealing the ancient city in all its glory, one can't help but wonder about the lives of the people who once called this place home, their dreams, their struggles, and their untold stories. Today, as we explore the ruins of Machu Picchu, we are not just walking through an ancient city, but are stepping back in time, getting a glimpse into a civilization that, though vanished, continues to captivate us with its enigma. Though now a popular tourist destination, Machu Picchu remains a testament to the ingenuity of the Incas and the mystery of their vanished civilization. Fast forward to the late 19th century, we find ourselves on the deserted Hashima Island in Japan. A solitary speck in the ocean, Hashima Island was once buzzing with activity, 
In the late 1800s, it was discovered that the island was sitting atop a rich coal deposit. The Mitsubishi Corporation swooped in to exploit this black gold, and a coal mining facility was established. This tiny island, measuring just over 15 acres, soon became a hive of industry. A labyrinth of tunnels was dug deep into the island's bowels, where miners toiled in the stifling heat to extract the coal. Above ground, the company built high-rise apartments, schools, and even a hospital, transforming Hashima into a self-contained city. At its peak, Hashima Island was one of the most densely populated places on the planet. Over 5,000 people called it home, living in cramped quarters that were often no bigger than a small room. The harsh living conditions earned Hashima its nickname, Battleship Island, not only for its shape but also for the battles the inhabitants had to wage against the elements and the tough living conditions. But as the 20th century rolled on, Japan's reliance on coal began to wane. The country was turning to more efficient and environmentally friendly sources of energy. By the late 1970s, the mines of Hashima were no longer economically viable. The Mitsubishi Corporation announced the closure of the facility, and within a matter of months, the island was completely deserted. Residents left behind their homes and possessions, creating a time capsule of a bygone era. Buildings that once echoed with the sounds of life now stood silent and empty. The schools, hospital and apartments were left to the mercy of the elements. The harsh sea air began to gnaw at the concrete structures, slowly eroding them. Today, Hashima Island is a ghost town. The once bustling streets are now eerily quiet, the only sounds being the wind whistling through the empty buildings and the waves crashing against the seawall. The high-rise apartments that once housed thousands are now crumbling edifices, a stark contrast to the gleaming skyscrapers of modern Japan. Yet, despite its desolation, Hashima Island has not been forgotten. In 2009, it was opened to the public for guided tours, offering visitors a glimpse into a forgotten chapter of Japan's industrial history. It has also caught the attention of Hollywood, serving as the inspiration for the villain's lair in the James Bond film, Skyfall. Today, Hashima Island stands as a haunting reminder of Japan's industrial past, its buildings slowly crumbling under the weight of time. It's a stark testament to the transient nature of human endeavors, a place where the echoes of the past collide with the silence of the present. And as the waves continue to beat against its shores, Hashima Island remains a silent witness to the relentless march of time. Our next stop brings us to the chilling ghost city of Pripyat, Ukraine. Nestled in the heart of Europe, Pripyat was once a bustling city, home to around 50,000 people. This city, however, has been silenced and its life abruptly halted by an event that sent shockwaves around the world. In the early morning hours of April 26, 1986, Reactor 4 at the nearby Chernobyl nuclear power plant exploded, spewing a lethal cloud of radioactive particles into the air. In what is considered the world's worst nuclear disaster, the city of Pripyat, just a stone's throw away from the plant, was one of the most severely affected areas. For 36 hours following the explosion, the people of Pripyat carried on with their lives, oblivious to the invisible death that was slowly seeping into their city. It wasn't until two days later that the city was evacuated, a move that was initially thought to be temporary. Little did they know that they were leaving their homes, their city, forever. Today, Pripyat stands abandoned, a stark, haunting reminder of the devastating impact of human error and the unforgiving power of nuclear energy when mishandled. The city, once a symbol of Soviet progress, now lies in ruins, its buildings slowly being reclaimed by nature. As you walk through the desolate streets of Pripyat, you can't help but feel a sense of eerie stillness that permeates the city. The once vibrant amusement park now stands silent, its ferris wheel a grim symbol of a joy that was abruptly ended. The schools, the hospital, the homes, all stand empty, their walls echoing with the lives that once inhabited them. Yet, amidst the ruin and decay, there is an odd sense of preservation. The city, in its abandonment, has become a time capsule, capturing a moment in history and preserving it for future generations. The remnants of everyday life, from children's toys to personal belongings, are poignant reminders of the lives that were uprooted in an instant. While Pripyat today is largely uninhabitable due to lingering radiation, it has become a destination for those seeking to understand the gravity of the Chernobyl disaster. The city serves as a living museum, its ghostly ruins a testament to a tragedy that still echoes today. But beyond its tragic history, Pripyat also serves as a stark warning. 
It reminds us of the potential dangers that come with the advancements of technology and the devastating consequences of human error. Pripyat's story is a cautionary tale, one that urges us to tread carefully as we navigate our way through the complex world of nuclear energy. As we leave the ghostly city of Pripyat, we are not just leaving behind a place, but a powerful reminder of a past that should not be forgotten. The chilling silence of Pripyat is a call to remember, to learn, and to ensure that such a tragedy never repeats itself. Pripyat serves as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of human error. Its ghostly ruins a testament to a tragedy that still echoes today. We now travel to the lonely St. George Reef Lighthouse off the coast of California. Perched precariously on a wave-battered rock six miles from the mainland, the St. George Reef Lighthouse has been a silent sentinel, weathering the stormy seas and strong winds for over a century. Rising an impressive 70 feet above the roiling ocean, it was once considered a triumphant feat of engineering and a beacon of safety for seafarers navigating the treacherous waters of the Pacific. The story of the St. George Reef Lighthouse began in the late 19th century, following the tragic wreck of the Brother Jonathan ship in 1865. The disaster claimed over 200 lives, highlighting the urgent need for a lighthouse to guide vessels away from the deadly rocks and reefs. Construction began in 1882, but the lighthouse was not completed until eight years later, owing to the challenging conditions and logistical issues faced by the builders. For over 80 years, the lighthouse was manned by dedicated keepers who lived in isolation, enduring the harsh weather, dangerous conditions, and the relentless roar of the ocean. They were charged with keeping the powerful Fresnel lens lit, a beacon of hope in the dark for those braving the perilous waters. However, the high cost of maintaining the lighthouse, coupled with the inherent dangers of its location, led to its eventual abandonment in 1975. The lighthouse was replaced by a buoy equipped with an automated light, bringing an end to the era of manned lighthouses on the Pacific coast. Since then, the St. George Reef Lighthouse has stood unoccupied, its once vibrant light extinguished, its once bustling rooms now silent. Over the years, the elements have taken their toll on this lonely structure. Its once pristine white exterior is now marred by rust and weather stains, a stark reminder of the passage of time. Yet despite its derelict state, the lighthouse still retains a certain grandeur. Its towering structure stands as a testament to human determination and ingenuity, a symbol of man's struggle against the elements. It's a poignant reminder of the brave men who once lived and worked there, their lives intertwined with the rhythm of the sea and the cycle of the light. Today, the St. George Reef Lighthouse is a hauntingly beautiful sight. It's a monument to a bygone era, a relic of the past that continues to captivate the imaginations of those who glimpse it from afar. The lighthouse may no longer shine, but its legacy endures, etched in the annals of maritime history and in the hearts of those who remember its light. The St. George Reef Lighthouse, once a beacon of safety, now stands alone, its light extinguished but its legacy enduring. As our journey through these lost wonders comes to an end, we are left with a profound sense of awe and respect for the past. Our voyage began in the lofty heights of Machu Picchu, Peru. A testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the Inca civilization, it stands as a silent sentinel, whispering tales of a time when it was a bustling hub of life and culture. Now, it's an echo of the past, a tribute to the spirit of human endeavor. Next, we found ourselves on Hashima Island in Japan, a stark reminder of the fast pace of industrial development and its consequences. Once a coal mining facility teeming with life, it now stands desolate, its empty buildings a haunting testament to the fleeting nature of human industry. Then we ventured into the eerie silence of Pripyat, Ukraine. A chilling reminder of the Chernobyl disaster, it stands as a monument to the power of nature to reclaim what was once its own and the devastating impact of human error. We sailed to the St. George Reef Lighthouse in the USA, a symbol of the relentless battle between man and the sea. Once a beacon of hope for sailors, it now stands abandoned, its light extinguished, yet its story continues to shine. These places, each with their unique stories, serve as reminders of the ever-changing course of history. They bring to life the tales of thriving civilizations, bustling industries, tragic disasters and heroic endeavors. They remind us of the impermanence of our creations and the enduring power of time. They invite us to reflect on our past and inspire us to learn from it. They challenge us to respect the forces of nature, to remember the lessons of history, and to strive for a future where we live in harmony with our environment. These abandoned places, though silent, speak volumes about our history 
reminding us of the impermanence of our creations and the enduring power of time.